Hey Capricorn, what's up? So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of October 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And yeah, Maddox is here with us today. I'm trying to keep him under control. <laughs> All right, so for the overall energy here, we have the fledgling. All right, so this is kind of like the fool um, from tarot. So this talks about taking a risk, somebody leaving their nest, possibly moving out of a comfort zone. Um, yeah, so let's see. I feel like somebody might be taking a risk here or trying out something new or even just leaving a situation. So let's see. Just had justice flip over as well so yeah it feels like there's a major decision that is happening here All right, Capricorn Sun Moon rising and Venus first half of October All right, so let's see for the recent past we have the wheel of fortune all right so there may have been some major changes um, that have happened to you in your life recently or possibly um, between you and another person here. It feels like things have shifted. The wheel has turned in some way. Let's see for your energy. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Four of Swords. All right. I feel like, yeah, you kind of feel like this has been too much of a burden on you, like something just has worn you out. Um, and there's this sense for you to just want to relax, like you want to rest or you want to recover and heal. Let's see, for them we have the Page of Swords and we have the Nine of Swords. All right, so could be dealing with an air sign. Um, this person is um, not having a very good time at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you want to say hi to Capricorn? Oh yeah, this person is not having a very good time at the moment with this Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress, there's a lot of anxiety. Um, they're possibly, you know, having a lot of, um, maybe even trouble sleeping. And I feel like with this Page of Swords, you know, if you are not in contact, they are following you in some way or another. All right, could be in social media. Um, definitely this person wanting to communicate. For some of you, they might actually be trying to communicate. And for others of you, it's that, you know, they're just kind of secretly, um, keeping tabs on you. All right, so let's see what is what is coming up for you. We have the Four of Cups. I feel like, you know, this is you kind of like not even wanting to entertain this person anymore. For them, we have the Tower. Okay, so for them, it's a completely different story. I feel like you are actually like beginning to feel a little bit indifferent to whatever it is that is happening here, whereas this person is actually going through chaos. Um, and for the potential outcome here, we have the Fool, right? Which is just like that very first card that we got, the Fledgling. All right, Mannix, I think you have to kind of... He's like staring at the camera, but you can't even see his face. <laughs> Almost like he can see you guys. All right, let me try to get him to... All right, so let's clarify and see what's going on here. Let me clarify this fledgling. All right, so we have the Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Chariot. All right, so Cancer energy also showing up here. Ooh, somebody's in a lot of pain. Somebody is feeling a lot of pain. Um, I'm still not sure if this is you in this energy of the fledgling or if it is this person, um, but somebody is definitely trying to make a, a huge shift. Well, a shift has already happened, but there's somebody here that is trying to really do something in a new way, take a leap of faith, um, take a risk, move out of their comfort zone, anything along those lines. And yeah, of course, like that could be you moving away from this connection, for example, all right? Because with the chariot, I do see some um, movement here. It could even feel like, if this is you, I feel like, you know, it's, 
you're doing it, but it's also creating pain for you. Like there's also some heartbreak and it could be that there's just a little bit of having a little bit of a hard time, like really getting those reins, you know, under control for the direction that you're moving in. Um, but like I said, I feel like you are, you are resting. You do need some kind of a break here. You need some kind of a rest. And I see you being a little bit indifferent um, coming up. So if this is you. Could be your person's energy as well. Um, feeling that pain and for that reason wanting to take some action. So let's see. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands for your energy. Manix, I'm sorry, but I kind of have to do this. <laughs> Alright, so for the Ten of Wands we have, ooh, we have Death and we have the Eight of Swords. So you, I feel like, you know, whether you've been in this connection or whether, you know, you've been out of it for a while, you still felt trapped in it in some way. And I feel like this may be what the shift is for you, that, you know, you are um, beginning to free yourself from whatever it is that was holding you back or whatever it is that was holding you um, no, you cannot eat the cards, um, bound to this, all right? It's like you're putting an end to that. For you, it's kind of like enough is enough. Like I need to just get over it already. I feel like that's what you're feeling, that you're, you're wanting to um, recover from this connection. Let's see the Four of Swords. Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Hmm. There may have been trust issues for some of you. Okay, this is just um, for a specific group of you. I feel like maybe this person was a little bit of, maybe a little bit of a player. Like maybe they were um, not very stable when it came to where it is that they were giving their attention. Um, again, I feel like that is just for some of you. Um, for others of you, I feel like really what it is is, you know, I feel like even though if this had ended, all right, let's just say there was a break um, and you were trying to get over it, I feel like there was still a part of you here that was expecting this person to come back in. And this is what you are recovering from, waiting for that to happen. Let's, um, Mannix, <laughs> come on. Let's see what's going on with your person here. So let's see the, um, Page of Swords. All right, the Two of Wands and the Lovers. This person still wants this connection. I feel like they're not taking much action at the moment with this Two of Wands. Um, I do feel like they might be thinking about how it is that they um, can approach you or how it is that they can communicate with you. <clears throat> they, they definitely still want this though, all right? It's kind of like they're stuck in this like planning mode is what I'm getting. And so what they're doing is they're just giving very, um, very little. There's very little that they're doing. It's more of observing or of communicating, but to a minimal um, extent. Um, something else that is coming through here um, for your energy up here is that for some of you, there could be somebody else, all right, that is coming into the picture. But again, it feels like you're not really interested. I feel like you just, you just want to rest. You just want to rest from everything. Um, and if you do, give some attention to this person, I feel like it will be minimal. It like it, It's kind of like um, this person who might be um, showing up for you, it's like it might feel like, yeah, on a practical level, like it makes sense, like this person ticks the boxes, but, but you're still not interested. All right, let's see the sign of swords. 
for this other person. I don't feel like it's the same person, though, that we're talking about down here. All right, I feel like that's someone new. All right, so... For this Nine of Swords for your person, we have the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. All right, so a lot of cups showing up here as well as, all right, we do have the um, air sign showing up. Um, we have Gemini showing up here. And we also have a lot of water energy as well. Um, <clears throat> this person is very confused about, I don't know what it is that happened between the two of you. I'm not even looking into the past energy right now. Um, what I am seeing though for this person currently is that they're feeling very unhappy about about the way that things have turned out, like very unhappy, very stressed. It's almost like it's feeling like a nightmare for them, all right? Especially with the Seven of Cups, I feel like definitely this person is having a lot of dreams, bad dreams, um, concerning, concerning this connection, concerning whatever it is that has happened. Um, they still want to give to you. Like, I mean, they have the lovers and they have the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who still wants to be able to come forward. At some point, I feel like they just really don't know what to do and they really don't know how to do that. All right, and there's a lot of discontentment about that. For some of them, they feel like they, they missed their opportunity. Like they had the chance to do that at some point, but in the recent past, something changed and it's almost like now they don't have that opportunity anymore and it's left them feeling very... Um, Oh, I even want to say they, they, they feel sick, you know, they feel ill. <clears throat> All right, so let's see that four of cups for what is coming up for you. That just hit Mannix in the face. I'm sorry, Mannix. He didn't even flinch. All right, and we have judgment as well as the nine of swords. Ooh. All right, Capricorn. All right, I see what this is about. You're not, I feel like you're just not interested in anything. Almost, I feel like you're really trying to focus on your on your own um, sense of having a rebirth or on, you know, having some kind of a new beginning here for your own self because you don't want to go back to that painful energy. All right, with judgment and the nine of swords, I feel like this is you being really aware of what it is that causes you stress or what it is that has caused you stress in the past. And it's like, you know, because you're making that decision, um, even now, you know, you're putting an end to that Eight of Swords, you know, staying stuck in this. You don't want to go back to that. And so for that reason, I feel like you're just kind of um, rejecting any offer that comes in or just anything that comes in. And I mean, you know best, if you still need time to recover, then definitely take that time to recover. So let's see this tower for your person or for this person. Anyway, um, all right, we have the five of swords, we have the emperor and we have the nine of wands. Yeah, what do you think about that? He's like staring at it. Um, Yeah, they're still going through a difficult time. I do see this person trying to um, come out of it. I feel like, you know, something really needs to kind of like hit home. Something needs to hit home with them. And I feel like, you know, this is it. You you just being um, so detached or having your own new beginning here. You are, you know, breaking those um, those chains, right? That have been keeping you chained to this. And that is really hitting them hard. Um, it's almost like, you know, this person feels feels defeated. But I feel like after that, all right, with the Emperor and the Nine of Wands, there's this energy of, all right, you know, I have to fight. I have to fight. So I feel like this is like warrior mode, right? Five of Swords, the Emperor and the Nine of Wands. This is warrior mode kicking in, wanting to rebuild that empire, wanting to rebuild that tower. I feel like for a lot of you here, there was um, a betrayal of trust in the past that um, has led up to all of this. 
All right, so let's see the full for the potential outcome here because this is something really new, really fresh, um, a risk possibly, um, a leap of faith. Let's see. Okay, so we have Everything is messed up here because of manic, so just give me a sec. We have the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like there's this opportunity here, all right, for a new beginning. I do see somebody coming in, and I do feel like it is this person that we've been talking about here, all right, especially with this Five of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person is, you know, taking charge, trying to fully overcome this, like I said, wanting to rebuild that tower, going into um, warrior mode, feeling that confidence, but I, you know, there's still this sense of rejection here. I feel like that opportunity is there, you know, somebody is taking a huge leap of faith. Um, but again, I feel like there's a bit of of maybe you blocking that out. Um, even if you do feel like it's something that, you know, would be very, very tempting. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it's going to be completely up to you, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there's a bit of a rejection here. Somebody is rejecting and well, it's not them. <laughs> So let's see, Capricorn, let's get the final message for you. I'm not going to lie, Mannix is giving me a bit of a hard time. <clears throat> All right, and we have the Gibbous Moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. So yeah, I feel like you you fully do need this rest. Whatever you know happens in the future is a different story. Um, anything could happen. Like I said, I do feel like there is this this opportunity here, but you know it's going to be up to you if you if you take it. I don't see you taking it at least for now. Um, but yeah, you're very close to achieving your goal, and I feel like that is of healing and you know just fully like recovering, having a new beginning for your own self, basically. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.